I asked one of my closest friends, which is his favorite work of Dickens, and he promptly answered great expectations. I feel that all of us, every reader of the English language, every student of literature has a favorite Dickens of which we are so confident that it is the best. It has to be everyone's favorite. Anyways, this conversation led me to a rereading of Great Expectations. And as always, I was rewarded, I was healed, and I have come back with something more. I believe that with Great Expectations, this is a work in which not a single word is wasted. Not a single emotion is wasted. Everything falls into place so beautifully. Dickens is the, one of the most, the greatest, we could say, of Victorian writers. And great expectations is to Dickens what Tempest is to Shakespeare. It is one of his masterpieces, one of his mature writings. With this Dickens, you are in for uh, hard-hitting Dickens, I would say. Some heavy-duty Dickens. The importance of Dickens during the Victorian era can be understood by a single line, and that is the word Victorian is interchangeable with the word Dickensian. If you say Dickensian, you understand the age is Victorian. In Great Expectations, I think it would fit under comedy, it would fit under tragedy, it would fit under all those genres of adventure, of horror, of something scary, of uh, it has uh, plenty of cliffhangers, it is an exciting adventure. But today I will speak about it as a building Roman. That is essentially a story where a character is evolving physically, emotionally, spiritually. There is the growth. This is a coming of age work. One of the best coming of age works. Now, a uh, fact about Dickens that I feel is uh, something very beautiful is all the names in his works immediately give you an idea about a character. Now, the protagonist here is Pip. The very word Pip suggests weak, insignificant, tiny, little words like that. And here we see the growth of this Pip. When you say Estella, you are immediately thinking of mystery, loftiness, mystery. And when you say Biddy, that is all softness. We have Ms. Havisham, the eccentric spinster, I think, is a one of a kind, the most unique, extraordinary character that literature has ever created. So this is a beautiful read. And I would suggest it to a child, a young person of 18, as well as a person of any age, because this has something to give to every age. Not only is it about growing up, it is about realizing more and more of yourself. And who among us has not been pip? Who among us has not felt weak and in insignificant, yet at the same time entitled, deluded? All these emotions are a part of being human. Thank you.